Hello friends, it's been a while. Um, but today we're going to be doing a writing workshop where we will be located in my favorite place in the house. Can y'all guess what it is? But first, we breathe. So first have your feet planted on the floor. Make sure there's nothing in your hands. And maybe you could have it rested on your knees or by your side. So once you have that, um, you're more than welcome to close your eyes. Um, you can keep it open if you want to. Once you have your eyes closed, I want you to take your right hand and put it on your chest, find your heartbeat, and just monitor your heartbeat for a while. Once you do that, I want you to just sit with yourself. At this moment, maybe thoughts may start to come up, allow it. Maybe you start to daydream, allow it. Maybe you're just monitoring your heartbeat, whether it's going fast or slow, just sit with yourself. On the count of three, we're gonna breathe in. So that's one, two, three, breathe in. One, two, three, breathe out. Good job. One, two, three, breathe in. One, two, three, breathe out. One, two, three, breathe in. One, two, three, breathe out. Good job. At this moment, I ask that you um, open up the channels for creativity. Um, so whatever you need to think about, whatever um, has been blocking you from this week from opening it up, I just ask that you invite whatever feelings, whatever emotions come up for you, um, and that you open up the channels to create from those spaces, um, not out of judgment, not out of criticism. Last time, breathe in and breathe out. Now open your eyes and we are ready to write. The kitchen. And today we have my friend, Makeda. Say hi, Makeda. Hi. But, but, but first, I want you to think of a food that can connect to the season of your life in this very moment. So the season of your life could be, yes, spring, but really it's just this moment in your life in which things have shifted and looks differently than maybe last week or last month or two months ago or even last year. But the season is up to you to decide. And I want you to think about what food can connect to that, this specific season in your life. So if the season in your life is um, a very rewarding season and you are um, reaping all of the things that you sowed um, and you are just um, in a moment of gratitude at all the time and we have these moments, what food can connect to that? Is that ice cream where it's cold and, and sweet? And so it's maybe it's it's the rewarding part is that it's sweet. And the, the cold part is that um, you don't really know like what else is next and you love the chilled feeling. Like, you know, use your imagination to connect a food to the season of your life. Um, so I'll give you a moment to really sit and write with it. And today we are going to be doing an activity that really um, plays with our taste buds. Are you ready? Write with me. You guys remember Makeda's? So Makeda's doesn't know what she's doing today, but she's going to be learning just like you guys. So Makeda's, how old are you? I'm 28 years old. And um, what do you do? I'm a creative poet, author, yogi, doula, and more. That's beautiful. So if I asked you, uh, if you could compare yourself to any male, what would that be? Any male? Any male. Mm. I would say, hmm, I would compare myself to a Haitian dish called legu. Legu. Why legu? Mm. Um, because it's filling and it requires a lot of different ingredients 
that normally don't go together, but when they're all together, they're really good. Wow, and why do you compare it to your life? Do you feel like you're? Because I also feel like there's several ingredients inside of me that are ready. So welcome to today's cooking show. Today we have Makeda's. Makeda, say hi. Hey. And Makeda's is going to be cooking um, Makeda's. That's what Makeda's is making. You're making a Makeda's. I'm making a me. have the space and the freedom to create as much as you want. So maybe you want to mix your grandmother's laughter or maybe you want to mix your father's walk or maybe your sister's uh, fashion sense. But you have the creative freedom to mix whatever it is that makes up who you are. So today I'll be using Makeda's as an example of how she's going to make her own legume of her own life and compare it to her own life, her own life. Are you guys ready? Cool. Let's do it. So you are now giving us the recipe to making a, a Makeda's. Are you guys ready? So, I'm a whole lot of Haitian, that culture. I'm a little, you know, maybe a little bit of my dad's smile. They say I have his nose. Okay, so maybe a little bit. <laughs> I have my mom's heart. This is, look at, this is as much as left. So I'm, I'll take the whole thing. So my inspiration comes from like Avi Lemmings and no name, so like my creativity. And let's see, my giving, my my gratefulness and gratitude and willingness to give, I'm gonna throw this whole apple in there because I got that from my grandma who was a farmer. And then, you know, to top it all off, my skills connecting to women through art as the topping. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna stir it all up? No. To create me, it took some time. I'm sure. I'm special. Throw it all in and then you mix it up. Mix it up. You know, make sure it sits there and it's well seasoned. You want all the seasoning and all the greatness to seep in so it lasts long. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Smells delicious. Thank you, Makeda. <laughs> Thank you, Makeda. So now it's your turn. If we were creating a recipe of who you are, what would be the things that would make you, you? Right? Like, think about all of the beautiful things and, and all of the beautiful and the not so beautiful things that make you who you are. Take a second to really write out the recipe. Take a second to really think about the ingredients. Once you think about the ingredients, you can write out the recipe. And there you have a recipe of how to make you, you. Thank you guys for participating and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next song.